Hello, this is Matthew from EDS, and thanks for joining me today in this Google Analytics 101 series. This tutorial is probably the first one you have to see if you wish to get started with Google Analytics. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that Google Analytics is not a precision tool, that there is no right or wrong answer with the insight, and that the insight uh, will become more relevant as you increase the size of your data set using larger date ranges. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you notice when you're logged in the GA interface is the menu on the left hand side. By default, GA opens on the audience main screen and shows you data for the last 30 days. Right in the middle, you see a couple of these really important KPIs. From left to right, sessions, users, page views, pages per session, average, average session duration, bounce rate, and percentage of new session. Let's try to break out these KPIs for a better understanding and see how they fit in a dealership context. Sessions are formally called uh, visitors. Sessions is a measure of volume for the number of times anyone has visited your website over the last 30 days. If the same person from the same computer visited your website 100 times in the last 30 days, then 100 sessions will be accounted for in GA. Users, formally called unique visitors, users is just a measure of volume. How many people came to your website over the last 30 days? Well, users are usually tracked by IP, and therefore, if two people within the same house using two different computers visited your website, it would still count for just one user. Page views. This is also a measure of volume and simply gathers the total of pages that were viewed over the last 30 days. So these indicators tell you a lot about how much traffic you're getting, but they tell you nothing about how well your website does with this traffic. The next KPIs on the page will provide more insight as, there are, as they are all ratios, and as you know, well, ratio provide context. Pages per session is the ratio of pages seen per session. For example, a low ratio of two uh, means that visitors only watch two pages per session. Chances are that they saw that chances that they saw any inventory is close to nothing. Um, you know, home page is going to be one page. Uh, the search page could be a second page, and that's most likely all they have seen. Good dealer websites have up to seven pages per session. Average session duration. It's pretty easy to grasp as far as what it tells you. It is the average time your visitors have spent on your website. Of course, the bigger the better, especially if your page per session ratio is high too. If the average session duration was really low, for example, one minute, but your pages uh, per session ratio was still high, it would mean your visitors are browsing really fast on your website and not taking time to read the content. Dealer website doing good on this end, average about five minutes per session. Bounce rate. Bounce rate is a funny KPI for its buzzword value. Eh? For a little while, it looked as if anything bad on a website was reported by a high, high bounce rate. But what is true bounce rate? Per Google Analytics, a bounce is reported any time a user lands on a page and leaves without initiating any action. The likeliest reason for a high bounce rate in the context of uh, aggressive uh, marketing, such as PPC, is inconsistency or, or deceit. For, for example, you're, you are driving traffic to your homepage based on a very specific ad copy. And in the context of SEO, it would be um, lack of user friendliness or poor branding. So we consider bounce rate to be problematic over 40%, even though 50% on some specific acquisition campaigns can be tolerated. Uh, percentage of new session. It is a KPI that will provide you with no right or wrong answer. It just tells you how many new visitors you are getting as opposed to returning visitors. As I said, there are no right or wrong answer. Typically, we tend to see this ratio at around 60 to 70% of new visitors, and it does seem like a good place to be. On one end, you, you need to constantly fill up the top of your pipeline and buyers might come back multiple times to your website as they move themselves along the sales funnel. For insights purpose, a low ratio below 50 will tell you that you're not doing enough on the marketing side, especially when this is coupled with poor traffic. Whereas a high ratio, let's say over 85, probably means that uh, your website is turning all your visitors into a lead and congratulations for that. Or it can also mean no one is coming back for a second visit. Um, usually uh, it, it would be explained by poor content, including inventory. So that's it for now. This was Google Analytics 101, basic website KPIs. If you enjoyed it, please let us know. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.